Good afternoon. Uh, welcome back to this series where I'm taking modes of transportation and breaking them down into uh, basic components for sketching purposes. So this week I decided to do the opposite of F1 cars and I decided to go with something bigger. And initially I didn't know what it was. This is kind of some autonomous thing. Uh, but I settled on garbage trucks because I'd never sketched garbage trucks before. Um, I could tell I was thinking about car interiors too. This was the very beginning before I kind of knew what I had settled on, but this was interesting to me. So I decided, okay, we'll try garbage trucks this week and, and see how it goes. Uh, pretty basic. So for starting off, I, I basically started off with this uh, form every time and then just started by chopping the corners off. Um, just, just chopping the corners off of a block basically, right? So I actually brought this in too. This is from one of my first uh, teaching courses on design sketching. Viscom 1, Visual Communications 1. But to do that, if you've never done it before, if you can draw a box in two-point perspective, um, and then you know how to dissect the box, essentially, right? Find the midpoint or find, you know, any particular point on the box, right? And then extrude it in space. You can shave off the corners of these boxes pretty easily. And it's a, a similar technique. This is another, the same type of thing, right? Um, but, but it's basically the same thing as what I'm doing with this box, right? With these, with these garbage truck boxes. Um, this one, you're just chopping off the corner, right? Okay, so that's where I was, and that's, that's kind of where I started, right? So six wheels, chopped off front, chopped off back. I did this for the F1 car too, this, this simple orthographic view. And in my F1 car, I think I smashed it on the page. I ran out of space, so I tried to give myself a little more space on this one. Um, but same thing, right? Trying to find basic dimensions. This is this is a, a new thing for me to sketch. I don't sketch a lot of garbage trucks. Same thing back here, trying to find this angle, right? How this line would actually curve in space. Wheel detail. And then I started to put marker in here. These are just pen sketches, right, with this ballpoint pen. Um, and then here I just used marker for the shadow down below. And then inside kind of pass through the window where the interior would be. And I think, no, not yet, okay. This one I used as an underlay for this one on the back side. Just adding a bit more detail, right? But you can see how that basic form, just that rectilinear form with kind of that trapezoid on top, right? Or just shaved or bent corner surface. And then using that as an underlay, added a bit more detail, right? Headlights, wipers, wheels, bumpers, etc. Little simple sketches, just, just small shapes in perspective. These I thought were nice, I like these. I don't know what else to say on these. I like the shadow, the big J-O logo on the side of a garbage truck. I don't know how I feel about it, but you know, it's okay. Same type of thing, just ballpoint sketches, just trying to turn it, turn the vehicle a bit, right? Play with different front ends, um, different angles. Try to fill up the page a bit when I sketch. Uh, make sure there's good line weight, right? Good thick to thin lines, good use from heavy to dark. I think at this point, yeah, at this point I realized this was taking me way too long. Um, like these sketches were just taking a lot longer than I wanted. I wanted something faster, right? Just to kind of like feel out the proportion, play with it on the page. Um, so then I switched completely just to marker, right? Um, like the total opposite. I just got um, these Copic markers and I just started sketching with that instead. So this was way faster, right? Like if this took, I don't know, a half an hour. I mean, this was this was like five minutes. Um, so way faster. And then I think from here on, yeah, then from here on it was kind of a combo. Um, and I didn't invent this combo. Um, the first people I ever saw use this were people like Scott Robertson, um, Doug Chang even before that. Um, this kind of marker as an underlay. And then coming back on top to draw, um, you know, on top of your underlay essentially. So yeah, okay, so for this one, this was a brush pen, that, that's not ballpoint pen. It was just this brush pen that I had laying around. Um, didn't really like it that much. So I switched back, this one's ballpoint pen. So same technique, 
right? I just used like a C1, so, so a really, really light gray marker, blocked in the proportions, blocked in the perspective and everything. And then I came back with the ballpoint, right? And then I started to actually identify, okay, here are some of the details, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but it's, it's a super nice technique, right? Especially if it's something new. I might, for the next thing, I'll probably start this way. I'll probably start with marker. Um, you can go really really fast and you can try out a lot of different perspectives and proportions and even here you can block in enough detail right like that's enough for a marker sketch to get your point across to get a little bit of the detail in there it's not bad these look nice but they kind of took way too long so then there's this kind of happy medium um but the brush pen is is unforgiving right every line that you make is is a hundred percent black or with the ballpoint pen you get the variety in there. This one I started with just two gray boxes. The, I don't know if you can see them on the camera, um, but just the really light gray marker. Um, so they're both starting with the exact same box as a base, right? And then this one's just really simple, showing kind of like some of the early ones, right? How simple it can be. And then this one I added a lot more facets, right? A lot more bevels, etc., cetera, um, to give it a lot more shape, but it started from the same point. And then I just kind of expanded it, like what, I don't know. You know, what would the rest of it look like if that's what the front of it looked like? And then that's a car garbage truck. Um, I don't know, it's a green car garbage truck. I've got nothing else to say on that. Same technique, actually a different technique on this one. I think I started with a green, uh, green colored pencil. And then I went, green marker? No, green colored pencil, brush pen. And then the light green marker on top. That's another uh, Copic marker. And then that was it. That was the last one I did. That's not a garbage truck. Well, it was a good week. Thanks for watching. Keep sketching.